Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Having just um, made a bit of a mistake and gone out early and suffered for it. Um, I'm actually out early again because I'm a glutton for punishment, if nothing else. So that was entirely my own fault. Um, I shouldn't have come out as early as I did by any stretch of the imagination. So I can't really blame anyone but myself. Still frustrating, but what can I say? I derped. And the dirt came back to bite me. Um, wood, wood frames, ten wood frames. Ah, well, what is a game without a little bit of challenge, eh? And in this case, the challenge is the fact that I'm a complete not a noob. So we'll just finish off upgrading our man trap and then we'll head out to the town to see if we can't grab some more items. We need some more log 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 spikes. Not gonna have enough wood to upgrade all my log spikes, but that's fine. Torches. Torch. Torch. As long as I can get log spikes up around all of my pillars. One. And then log spike here. Log spike here. Log spike here. What I can do is I can actually strip down these after I jump up into it. So it's now time to head out to the village. It's going to be made harder by the fact that I now have to um, basically do it. Oh wow, my food and water is really down. Um, I'm just going to head back and eat and drink some because of course I died. So I'm going to head back, I'm going to eat and drink some stuff and um, hopefully regain a little bit of wellness from it. Let's grab some goldenrod tea. And I think I have some charred meat upstairs, which would be good. So, a tip for increasing your wellness. Drink yourself up on charred tea, on um, goldenrod tea or on uh, red tea, because you think it gives you me 0.2 wellness. So that's a little bit of wellness. Not a huge amount, a little bit of wellness. Now, if I open the chest and I take out charred meat, if I have any, charred meat, charred meat reduces your hydration by five. So what I can do now, come back here pistol, is I can eat charred meat. That reduces my hydration and so I can drink goldenrod tea. And I can just rock backwards and forwards between charred meat and a tea that increases my wellness. So there we go, there's plus one wellness straight away. And you can see that my wellness and my um, my sorry, my hunger and my thirst sort of rock backwards and forwards. And there's another point. And another point, and another point. So you can see you can regain your wellness quite rapidly by using that little trick. I'll carry the charred meat with me, why not? I'll carry some more red tea. So. Yeah, I just did something foolish and got punished for it, so fair play to the game. Now map, I need to tag the city, say waypoint. Uh, City. Waypoint. City. 
There we go. And I can head off in that direction. I grab some goldenrod and some berries and things on the way. Always be scavenging when you're on your way from place to place, even if you think you're possibly going to throw it away once you get there. Because there's no real... Especially things like goldenrod. Like goldenrod's definitely worth picking up because there's no real cost to it. You literally just grab it as you run past. Free bottled water. I'm past the need for sham sandwiches by quite a way because of round here there is so much hunting. Slow way to climb hills. Come on. Aha, there you are. Come on. I know you're around here somewhere. There we go. I'm above you now. I can actually get a shot at you. Stop. Oh, come on, I've hit you twice now. There we go. Oh, I hear zombie. But I don't see zombie. Okay. Well, let's go and raid this uh, corpse as we head towards the town. You can see that like the blade doesn't necessarily become more effective at chopping up corpses, but you start to get a lot more items from them. So I'll also need to gather some wood, because um, I'm quite low on wood. So we can stop off and gather some wood, use our fire axe until it breaks, and then I'll probably just... Um, well, actually, no, it doesn't take that much to repair it, so I'll probably keep it as a broken fire axe and repair it later. So you can see it's getting 7 and 15. It, it does kind of represent how much damage you're doing is by how much you are getting. So this is getting 7 and 14, so this is doing almost as much damage. 8 and 15, roughly the same amount of damage as the um, fire axe was. Some chrysanthemum over here, which I can use to make tea. And I'm already filling myself up before I've even gotten close to the town. <laughs> this is the problem with my style of gameplay, is I'm a bit of a uh, gatherer, a collector. I like to gather things, so I end up with tons of stuff I don't really want to use. Golden rod. Like, I don't have a massive use for hide at the moment, uh, animal hide. I could use animal hide to make leather later on, uh, when I learn the tanning skill. But for now at least, animal hide isn't the best thing in the world. Oh, slightly overshot down then. There is something else on my map over there. I have no idea what it is. I don't need to eat or drink, so I can't regenerate my stamina that way. So I'll just have to uh, wander up here slowly. So 
So it's going to have taken me, with the additional sort of looting and harvesting, probably about four hours to get to town. From when I set off. Maybe a little bit less, because I did do some work on my um, man trap. Grab the bird nest, just in case we get some uh, eggs, and of course, feathers are always useful for making arrows. A little bit of chrysanthemum, tasty, tasty, tasty. Yay, bird nest. I'm just depopulating the local bird colonies. So, we've reached the town again. Hey, got a level up from killing a deer. That's not bad. There's an airdrop. Uh, the airdrops sometimes contain nice stuff, sometimes not. The airdrop's over there somewhere. Um, like, if you can see where it's landed and it's a, a reasonably close airdrop, sometimes it's worth hunting it down. Not always, though. Not always. So there's another one down, or at least nearly down. Oop. Some canned meat. We can eat that just as a, a, a snack. And then scrap the cans. Uh, we'll scrap this and we'll make ourselves a fresh one because we probably upgraded a little bit from when we last made it. hit. Black cowboy boots in really good condition as well. Oh, I like those. Bottled water and some painkillers, not bad. So, this is Bob's Cafe. There's the pharmacy I raided last time. I was wondering where that had gotten to. Bob's Cafe seems reasonably well armoured. So, I'm wondering if maybe there isn't a. Um, Oh no, that's just weird looking glass. Fair enough. Bottled water. Forty casino tokens, fine. We can use those to trade with uh, some of the traders if we ever manage to find a trader. Uh, dog food in a can. Oh, honey. Definitely take the honey. Can't believe I died. That's really disappointing. I thought I was be able to survive a massive amount of time without um, dying. I kind of now want to restart the series and just see how long I can survive without dying. But I suppose it does get harder the longer I play, so like it's punishing me for dying anyway. These are a great way of getting leather. Which can be used for assortments of things, including repairing stuff. 
So I'm going to grab a little bit of leather while I'm here. I wonder what the chairs give you. Oh, the chairs are. Take absolutely ages to break. Okay. Up oh, and out we go. If you dismantle a car, you can get headlights and things, which are quite useful. A chainsaw blade. Um, take. Scrap the car filter. Uh, can get rid of the cloth fragments, can scrap bullet casings, can get rid of the snow berries, and nope, not gold rod. Get rid of that. Um, recipes. Make all the bone shivs. Drop all the bone shivs. Drop the rotten meat. Um, I'll eat that as soon as I can. Scrap, scrap, take that, don't know where the zombie is, scrap, take, are you inside? Oh, you're around the back. How on earth did that miss? Two bowl, two chilies. Oil, eh. Hey, nursey. There are lots of zombie noises. sandwich and glass jar and a bandage. Eh, bandages aren't worth much. So I'm going to head back to the pharmacy which I believe is this building. We'll just go around the side to check. No, don't try and drink from the, the tree. Cut the tree down. Yep, so this is the pharmacy I raided previously. So in here around the back we have this door, which if I break it down should be able to give me access to a chem station, which I can mine up and gather. It's also got some cardboard box in it that might contain some useful items if they are hiding some things. No, they're not hiding anything. So this is a chemistry station. Now I have been told, and, and I'm going to confirm this, that I only have to break it down at the last second using a wrench. So to save my wrench which is better used for dismantling things for parts. I'm going to knock this down to about here. Now this means that supposedly this should give me a completed chemistry station. Awesome. Oh, hello. You managed to break your way through there, did you? Cloth. Okay. So there's the diner, um, there is a bunker over here, and I think that's a gas station. Oh come on. <laughs> you will die, rabbit. Right, that's it. You're getting axed, rabbit. <laughs> and I leveled up from axing a rabbit in the face. Okay.
dead rabbit. Right, so down in here, under these panels here, is a um, underground bunker. The other way to get to it is there is an entrance in there. But first, let's have a look. Is this a gas and go or a, a garage? Pass and gas. Pass and gas. I will accept a pass and gas. So what I will do is I will pause the episode here and we will raid the pass and gas in the next episode.